YouTube, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, we back outside in the cut. Got all my new parts here, new old parts. Um, as y'all can see, man, I've been busting these things down, busting the grease and grime and everything off of them. I'm using some AutoZone engine degreaser, and I also use a little um, uh, a little oven cleaner. Um, they come in pretty clean. Uh, I've only did one pass on them, so. I'm letting these things soak a little bit now and uh, I'm gonna keep on cleaning getting to it and uh, try to get these things ready for for some paint man definitely got to prep these things and get them ready for paint get all that uh, grease and stuff off of there uh, my um the rotor is supposed to be in today the bearings supposed to be in today hub bearings uh, they supposed to be in today um so these are just get painted today. So I don't, I don't think I want to install them like right after I paint them. So uh, I'll probably wait to install another day. So this video may be over the course of a few days or whatever. But um, hey, before we get on into it, man, y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, man. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I'm dropping these videos, man. Uh, if you missed the last one, these are blazer spindles. I went to the junkyard and got these spindles. Uh, these are off of a O2 Blazer, uh, two wheel drive. So Blazer, two wheel drive. Those are the only spindles that'll work. So yeah, got the spindles off of O2 Blazer. I got these calipers off of a 99, which it looked like they had been replaced recently. So that's why I chose these. The other ones was a little rusty. So uh, we went with we went with this, and then also didn't forget the the caliper brackets. Yeah, so we back. Uh, this is after one, you know, one pass of using that uh, engine degreaser and the oven cleaner. I got, you know, most of the grease and stuff off of here, off of them. Um, but still need a little more cleaning, of course. And then before we get ready to, uh, you know, like sand them down and stuff like that. So everything looking pretty decent not too bad and uh but now um i'm gonna go ahead and use an old trick that i used when i did my engine bay man i got me some i got me some uh paint stripper uh it seemed to work very well for me um i know people say oh it's the right way and the wrong way to do stuff but the only way to do it is to get the shit done you know what i'm saying so I'm gonna use some paint stripper. Got my little brush and stuff. I'm gonna use some paint stripper and uh, put this on there and then uh, let it sit for a little while. And I'm gonna come back and scrape it off and see what we got. Cause I want, uh, you know, the best services I can for painting everything. Like the prep is the key, man. Get that paint on there and make it last. That way you ain't gotta keep redoing stuff, man. But yeah, as for me, 87 ss boy we gonna we gonna use this paint stripper we had laying around actually i might need to get a different kind of brush because that as you can see that paint stripper is eating through this foam so i need to get an actual like paint brush but yeah let me go find me a paint brush because this ain't gonna work look at that that paint stripper ain't no joke man look at that that's crazy so yeah we can't use this uh, I'm gonna have to get me an actual paintbrush. So let me go find that and I'll get back with y'all. And so I found me a paintbrush. Now we can go ahead and, and get this done. So that's all I got left. So hopefully uh, it'd be enough. I'll just put it heavy on the parts that the problem areas put it like that. Whenever you're using paint stripper, man, you gotta dab it on there. Don't don't spread it like you know. Don't act like you're painting. You just put it on that thick so it can work. Then you come back later, man. That thing be done, done. But yeah, I'm gonna go on and put y'all on the time time lapse, man. 
Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. No thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Yeah, so we got this uh, paint stripper on here. Uh, I don't know if it's actually doing anything yet or if it's gonna do anything, but uh, in my first experience with this stuff, it worked pretty good. So we'll see. Um, I know this is an old, there's some old stuff. I don't know if it got a shelf life or whatever, but y'all see how it did that, that foam brush that I had. So we're gonna see how it do, man. I'm gonna let this thing sit. I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour. And then I'll come back out here and see see what happened, man. But yeah, we working over here, man. We trying to get this, this front end project done. I kind of got a deadline, man. I'm trying to make this grudge and treat. Shout out to JB. Trying to make this grudge and treat on October 28th, Petersburg. I'll put the flyer in the, uh, in the video somewhere, like right about now. But yeah, so Petersburg, October 28th, man. I plan on driving my car up there. Hopefully everything go as planned. Gonna keep our fingers crossed, man. But yeah, I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a few minutes, which it'll be a few seconds for y'all, but it's gonna be about an hour for me. And uh, we're gonna see what we working with here. We're gonna keep this thing going, man. 87 SS, boy. All right, I'm back. We done waited a little while. Um. So yeah, this is not working as good as it did the last time I used it, but it's still helpful. Um, like I said, I, I think it may be because the uh, the stripper was a little old. Actually might've had a little water in it because it was sitting outside for a little while. But anyway, still it helped out. So we're gonna scrape this thing up and uh, we're gonna get back to it. And so we're back. Uh, I decided to go with black on the uh, spindles. Uh, I don't know if I told y'all, but I was kind of debating on whether I should go black, uh, black, red, or silver. But my two choices were black and silver. Uh, I decided to go black. I mean, it's really not gonna be seen that much, but still want to look decent under there. So I went with the black. Um, I got, it's, it's still wet right now, so I can't really touch them. So I'm gonna let these things sit and cure, sit in the sun and bake a little bit for a couple hours. And then uh, we're gonna get back to it. My, um, the rotors and the rotors and stuff hadn't showed up yet. The rotors and the hubs hadn't showed up yet. Um, I also got these caliper brackets over here and I'm just getting tired of messing with them. Cause I just, I don't know, I want a certain look and I, and I want it to look good. So I think I'm gonna go order me some new caliper brackets. Brand new caliper brackets only like $15 and then it's a lifetime warranty on them. So, I think I'm gonna do that, man. Plus I get like 20% off. So it'll be $30 for both brackets and then 30% off, so what? No, 20% off. So that's what, about three, about six more dollars off, you know. I'll take what I can get. But I'm just tired of messing with them, man. Like, I just don't feel like it. I'm fed up. So I'm gonna just probably go get some new brackets. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then the calipers, I'm still working on those. Um, they ain't that bad, but I just want to get them a little bit better than they are. So uh, yeah, we we working, man. You know what I'm saying? One thing at a time, one day at a time. Also one dollar at a time. You know what I'm saying? Cause I keep having to go back to the store. I gotta grab this, I gotta grab that. But uh, we almost there though. So get this, uh, get everything painted up and then we're gonna get ready to start putting everything on this thing. So while I'm out here working, man, y'all see it. 
that pack has touched down the rotors and the wheel hubs. FedEx. Maybe, shoot, maybe he at somebody else's house. Maybe he right there. What's up, man? I've been waiting on this. <laughs> Got one more. Thank you, bro. So y'all, the pack has touched down. And I'm a little behind schedule because like I said, I wanted to have, I wanted to have all this done. Like ready for the uh for the rotors and everything, but you know, it is what it is. I ain't ready, so but I got everything I need. Open this thing up, make sure everything is right. No, the first thing you're gonna see is made in China. Whatever. I know a lot of people, some people don't buy stuff that's made in China. I don't care. Half of it made in China anyway. So I already know these are the uh the hubs. The real hubs. camera anyway we got the hubs in so a lot different than the stock g body stuff brand new of course we don't need this so we're gonna get rid of this but uh you know you got the flat piece in the middle so got both hubs i'm going to open the other one up as well just to make sure everything is everything And then this is the second hole. Brand new. Yes, sir. We got both hubs. I'm pretty sure this is the uh this gotta be the brake brake pads. Yep brake pads, got the clips and everything with it. They even put some brake grease in there for the uh, for the hardware. Just throw that there, save some of this space here. Insulation instructions. And then this big old box, Dang. thing heavy. Y'all know what this is. It's going to be them rotors. Drilled and slotted. It's going to look so much better up under there, man. Drilled and slotted rotors. Yes, sir. So all this came in a kit together. Um, the rotors, I think it did. I'm gonna have to look, but anyway, I'll put the link in the description if anybody wanna go this route. Um, the cross, the drilled and slotted rotors. Then we got the bearings or hubs, whatever you wanna call it. And the, uh, and the brake pads. I can't remember if all this came in one kit or else I had to order it separately, but I'll put the link in the description. 
Put this down there to separate it. And this is what we got, y'all. Yes, sir. I wish I would have been ready, like all the way ready to install everything, but I'm not. So it is what it is. But yeah, we're going to have fun with this. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned, man. All right, YouTube, we back. Uh, I done cleaned up these things just as much as I'm going to clean them up. I done got them taped all off. I done cleaned them up. Getting ready to paint these things, man. Uh, we going red on both of them. Uh, so I don't really like the offset that some people do on the on the brackets. They do them like silver or black and do the calipers red. We just going to do red all the way. So... Like I said, I got them cleaned up just as good as I'm gonna get it. I ain't about to spend no more time on this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just about to go ahead and shoot some paint, shoot some primer and some paint on here. And we're gonna call it a day. And uh, we're gonna let these things sit, you know, overnight or maybe a few days even before we uh, install them on the car. I got the spindles uh, sitting out here still. I didn't remove my tape because I didn't want to mess up this around here. I didn't want to paint this and then have to go back and sand it down or anything like that. So I just went on ahead and taped it up. So now the tape is off and they pretty much dry. Now it's been a little while, uh, but still when I touch it, if I touch them, I'll put fingerprints in there. So they ain't like all the way dry. But yeah. Everything coming together, man. Slowly but surely. So we're gonna get back over here on these uh these calipers and brackets. And uh I'll get back with y'all when we done. See what these things looking like. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We back with the freshly painted calipers and uh brackets. So I got the calipers done and the brackets are uh, they still drying need a little bit more time but y'all see what it's looking like looking pretty good i think it's gonna be nice on there and then uh spindles down here which you already saw uh i, I kind of just was test fitting one of these i was showing my homeboy uh how they fit he's like man how you know they're gonna fit or whatever pretty much the same uh, i just had it sitting up there I hadn't mounted anything up yet, but next we'll be putting all this stuff together, man. The puzzle is almost over. And then all my stuff here, uh, everything that came in the kit from eBay, the uh, rotors, the hubs, and the, and the brake pads. Uh, I did find out too, I measured these rotors up against my um my original rotors these are about a little over a half inch uh bigger than the factory uh rotors so these are like 11 inches and the other ones are a little bit less than 10 and a half so rotors are a little bit bigger um just fun fact i guess i didn't know uh i was told that the rotors were the same size as the g body rotors but they're not they're a little bit bigger so yeah y'all stay tuned with me man keep it locked stay tapped in and uh we're gonna get these things installed man uh so next video we'll be putting everything together and completing this puzzle man i gotta get this you know a little time to dry up real good so i can actually handle them and then we're gonna get everything buttoned back up man y'all stay tuned with me i appreciate everybody that been rocking with me and um y'all just stay tuned man we got more to come uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so be notified when we're dropping these videos, man. 87SS, boy. We out of here.